Yosemite National Park is home to some of the world's most unique and spectacular cliffs and peaks. People travel from all over the world to see and climb these stunning rock faces. But in 1958, El Capitan had never been climbed. Warren Harding, Wayne Merry, and George Whitmore blazed the trail for future climbers and made a daring ascent up the face of El Capitan. In 1958, advanced rock climbing equipment did not exist and the team had to improvise. Many of the techniques they pioneered are still used by climbers today. It took them 47 days to complete the climb. At the end of their ascent, these courageous mountaineers had drawn a national spotlight onto the world of rock climbing. Started the 1st of November and uh, stayed on the rock uh, essentially until it was finished on the morning of November 12th. We were never really on the edge because we were very conscious of the risk that if anything went wrong, nobody was coming after us. The sun came and hit us in the morning and then we were on top. It was ecstasy. This bold ascent up El Capitan led to the creation of the now famous Yosemite Mountaineering School. The Yosemite Mountaineering School started back in 1969. Uh, I was with the Park Service at that time, and Bob Maynard was the vice president of the company, uh, Yosemite Park Creek Company, and he contacted me and asked if I wanted to start this operation. And uh, it sounded good. El Capitan, once considered impossible to climb, is now one of the best destinations for new and experienced climbers alike. Well, Yosemite is uh, one of the world's best climbing areas. It's got super high quality rock. It's uh, convenient. It's close to the road, usually, the rock climbing here in Yosemite. The great thing about rock climbing in Yosemite is that you don't have to be an expert to get started. At the Yosemite Mountaineering School, you can learn to boulder, rappel down the face of a cliff, or, if you have the heart for it, climb to the top of El Capitan. There are classes for everyone, including Girls on Granite, a special women's climbing package where you can be a little adventurous, make some new friends, and be part of the Yosemite climbing tradition. We get a lot of beginners, of course. What better place to try rock climbing than Yosemite? Make a step up to your left. I can grab an edge up here. You know, walk up my hands, do a little mantle, reverse your hands. You get up there, yeah, just like getting out of the pool. All right. We have a number of different levels of classes. Um, the first class is called Go Climb a Rock. And we teach all the basics in that class. So you learn to tie the knots and uh, put on your harness. You'll do a bunch of climbing and a bunch of rappelling. The beauty of Yosemite's wild landscape is what draws climbers to this special place. The Yosemite Mountaineering School actively teaches the leave no trace philosophy of climbing. And leave no trace is something that the Mountaineering School really thinks is important because we can help teach people the right way to come and enjoy the wilderness and thereby we can be a, a partner with the, with the National Park Service and, and helping protecting our wild places. What really pulled me to rock climbing is the fact that it allows you not only to get places other people won't go, but you get to go there in a way that really uh, brings, you, brings out a, a sort of an awareness of the moment. You really come to know who you are and what you're capable of, and you grow as a person. Even if you choose not to conquer the cliffs, it's still exciting to watch advanced climbers make their way up these daunting rock faces. Rock climbing isn't for everyone, but for those who want to challenge themselves and connect to nature, Yosemite is the place.